receiving hints and dreams from deceased people. I often dream about people who passed on to the next world. I ask them questions. Sometimes they answer. Sometimes they just run away from me and my questions. In my last dream, I saw a woman who passed away 20 years ago. She told me that there is no COVID, that all this is a deception, that she wants to tell everyone about this, but she is not allowed. This is roughly how that conversation went. My question is, is this actual communication? or a case of necrotic attachment. I have no fear after and during sleep. Thank you. It's not, by any means, a necrotic attachment. It's your gift. I can't say that it's very rare, but it's a very valuable gift. The ability to communicate with the world of the dead in a way that doesn't depress or overwhelm you, neither emotionally nor physically. The cast of the consciousness of the deceased exist in the astral space. It is an open space, and, as a rule, a person can go there in his dreams, but only to an extent that's allowed to him, or that he allows himself. Sometimes a person's consciousness has the ability to go into the astral realm beyond that point, or beyond any limits at all. And those who live there, the castes of people who have already passed away, informational packets, or just some entities who can take on familiar appearance, can use you to pass certain information that you can perceive. And that's exactly what they do. Sometimes when we see dead people in our dreams, it doesn't mean that we actually see those very people. This could mean that we see just an image of them. And this image may be a mask for a certain force. Sometimes this force is harmful, and it does bring harm. We can tell this when we wake up in the morning feeling sick or fatigued after such contact. This indicates that some harm has been done, energy has been sucked out, or an energy breakdown has occurred. You know, you can encounter anything there. It's like a busy highway in a city where there are ordinary people, and there are pickpockets, robbers, thieves, murderers, and vampires of all kinds. Here we have approximately the same effect, and sometimes there are those who must necessarily pass on some specific information, be it to a specific person or not, but they need to pass that information. There are those consciousnesses that love people. Contactees, and for example, practitioners of channeling sometimes refer to them as light forces. Well, they may not always be light, but in any case, they are called light because they show goodwill to humans and seem to want to help. Meaning, they are not interested in the total destruction of the human species. And this is something we should be grateful for because usually, wherever you look, Everyone wants to wipe the Homo sapiens out, or at least greatly reduce the number and quantity of the population. And these forces don't want to do that, and so sometimes they pass information that makes a person stronger, helps him overcome a certain fear, or supports him somehow. Maybe certain information they pass on won't help all of humanity, but it will help your kin, your family, or, for example, just you personally. That happens as well. When we receive such information, we usually call it a prophetic dream or help from the other world. Which, in fact, it is. The information given to you will allow you and the people to whom you passed it on. And now you have passed it on to a large number of people through your question and through me. It will allow you to draw the right conclusions in the future. To understand that this is a disease and it's aimed at achieving certain effects we're observing right now that this disease won't be the last one, that such deceptions will be repeatedly conducted, that this isn't related to human health, but to completely different motives, which are unfolding here in multiple senses, and that the war is underway on multiple levels.
которые здесь разворачиваются во множестве смыслов, и война идет... And you have to see that the deception is global now. So global that no one is even ashamed of it. But as the old saying goes, no breath is big enough before you die, and in for a penny, in for a pound. So these people go all the way. Since anything goes, all can lie without any accountability. As to say, there is no great harm in that. So those who are now trying to cling on to reality and grasp some opportunities won't stop at nothing to get those opportunities for themselves. And of course, colossal injustice is taking place. There are certain forces who understand that this is unfair. They are not powerful enough to stand up for all of humanity or to immediately prevent this vileness. The only thing they can do is bring information here and cause people to distrust the powerful. And through this distrust, people won't let themselves be used as doormats, slaves, property, or sheep for slaughter. That is, remember that everything that is being done now is not done for you. It may not be against you, but it's definitely not for you. And now you have to remember that whatever you are told, the first question you must ask yourself is, is that really true? No matter what you are told, no matter what news you are told, no matter what event with an exclamation or a question mark you are told about. The first thing you have to ask yourself is, is that true? And ask yourself that question until you get a clear yes or no. That's probably how I'll answer your question.